Britt knocked it away from Weta. Weta got it back, goes down the lane and scores. And, and somebody has to step, step up, up there. The game now, on number the 22 for the Falcons. Her first time of the night, and there's a steal by Kendall Weta. She takes it in, uses her body to block Cortez out, and gets the easy bucket. And that Take a double-digit lead if they get a bucket here. Whitaker, nice pass to Foreman. Inside, got it to go. Trying to get a spark going either from the three-point line or just inside of it. Nolan shot up three, got it. Maddie Nolan trying to get Smith the ball on Perry. She goes baseline, blocked by McNabb, but she gets her own rebound and puts it home. And again, we're seeing. McNabb is on Chirad. They try to get it inside. It's tipped, but it gets to Bonley. Easy bucket. Doing a good That's job good. of getting back on defense so they can get set. And oh, <laughs> you're not going to stop that. Free to Foreman. Even when you Foreman regathers the basketball, gets a nice pick from Whitaker. Whitaker inside, easy bucket. You don't see a lot of it. It's a very disciplined, well coached CU team, and it's off the glass for Rose Smith. Now to try and contest that shot. Tasha McMillan had it stripped away by Weta. Taylor Britt in a bad position to stop her, and she'll go in easy, but playing tough. Smith down the lane, easy bucket. And I, I'm sensing a little bit of fatigue here from the Across 40 seconds, Shalomai Sanders steps back for three. Got it. The ball game is the seventh ranked CU Buffs come away with the win. Coach Gobrecht, J.R. Payne, I'm impressed with both these teams.